man, oh man, you are a good ass villain. Oh, thank you. Like you really are. There's there, like even the way uh, uh, it, you were the first few frames of the movie, I'm not giving anything away, is your shadow. Right. Your shadow. I knew it was you. I could tell by the way you were walking. And I was terrified. I had no <laughs> idea why. Like you just, is it, is it, is playing the villain for you, the, the, the villain for you, I use in air quotes, is it so much fun for you? What's the challenge? It's what a lot of fun in this one, yeah, absolutely. And he's a good villain. It's a great villain, you know? Yeah. I mean, people will, he is a monster, he is a butcher, but people might just come to have some sort of an understanding about why he became that butcher. I mean, he that still needs of... to be stopped, you know? There's yeah. still nothing good about what he's doing, but... Nah, you might be surprised to actually be feeling maybe a little bit of sympathy for him. Maybe a little bit. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. And the the his first, you know, victim. You feel it's almost like you what was that uh from Chicago with Lipsch? He had it coming. <laughs> he had it coming, you know what I mean? I mean it was just like an unbearable kind of guy, kind of a, a character. For you on set of this movie, I I would imagine it's like the some of this this crew this cast has been together for a while they've done other films together um in different configurations what was it like for you to come into this group and work with them alongside them uh and challenging it, it was an interesting uh, uh um uh, trial by fire at the beginning because we did three days of shooting where i was just on this extended monologue which was, you know, maybe a paragraph in the script, but uh, Taika had just given me a few other ideas and just said, hey, just riff, just go with it. Just and, riff? And it was, it, you know, my character has the ability to shut everyone else up when he wishes. And it was that. And, and so none of the actors could speak or give me any other feedback. And it was just me for three days just talking. And, so me, and, and all the time, me wondering to myself. That was the first myself, thing you got shot? Yeah, me wondering, what, what are they thinking? I wonder if they're looking, thinking, oh, God, he's the worst actor I've ever seen. Or, what? oh, great, this might be. Well, there's always a fine line between something that really works and something that really almost doesn't. doesn't work. Yeah. Not almost, just absolutely misses the mark. <laughs> okay. It's a fine line. And you've got to be willing to risk that, um, you know, and... Uh, uh, and, and I think, uh, well, I think that none of that ended up in the final film. So that might be my answer <laughs> <laughs> about whether it worked no. or not. But it was a nice oh, uh, no. experimentation of, uh, of uh, getting into this uh, uh, headspace. And uh, they were also welcoming. It was such a great vibe on the set and yeah. very family friendly as well. I was, I was uh, really grateful to be a part of it and to be able to bring my family to work every gonna, single day. I was going to ask. Which what, doesn't happen often. Because I know that Chris brings his family basically everywhere yeah. he films. That was something you were able to do as well. Absolutely. We all were. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so imagine Gore playing soccer, you know, in uh, between uh, takes. With the yeah. teeth, like the... the, the Dribbling. It, it was yes. the dribble man for me that and did. And nobody understanding what I was saying because if I wasn't speaking as Gore with those fangs in my mouth, I just thought, okay, I, 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 I wasn't a goal, that was a foul. That wasn't a what? goal, it was a foul. Yeah. Ha! Ha! I am Gore the translator. Or I am the Gore translator. You'll get it on the way home. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, tell me this. You, the, the, <laughs> the, the, I feel like the action sequences in this movie are over the top. They, I mean, they are big. Yeah. They are loud. But also, the scenes between you and Chris, where you two go head to head, how much fun was it to give Thor a run for his money? That was a lot of fun because, in truth, I would give Chris no run for his money. He would demolish <laughs> me, you know? So I needed the supernatural powers to have any uh, 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 sort of comeback. But it was, it was actually a moment. Uh, I'd done these three days, as I described, and then suddenly it was the next day that uh, uh, we did some action sequences, and I, I'm standing there getting ready. <laughs> and I realized as I did it, I went, oh, man, this is taking me back. It was taking me right back to Tom Hardy and myself, him ah. as Bane, me as Batman, looking at each other, and then, all right, boom, and going into days and days of, uh, of fighting. And uh, it was... Uh, it was a real, uh, it was a real thrill. Um, it was, a, it was a very good moment. And then I am incredibly uh, uh, grateful to my wonderful stunt doubles who imitate all of my movements, and yeah. they were just perfectionists in achieving that. Um, and an uh, interesting point as well uh, is uh, that Chris's stunt double, Bobby, who's fantastic, used to be my stunt double. What? And you look at the size difference, and you go, <laughs> "How does that work? How? Right? Please, but someone that's the, tell that's me." That's the magic of the movies.